so yeah. now yeah we have got uh, with us uh, professor dr rajesh joshi sir from nagpur he is a honorary secretary of maharashtra ophthalmic society also and he is having his practice at nagpur ori vision eye hospital he will be uh, stressing on the full proof method for documenting recording and storing clinical cases details for ophthalmologist sir yeah uh, thank you and good morning to everyone i thank uh, dr viral for inviting me for this uh, or including me in this ic if you don't want any worries to be invited after any procedure you need to have a full proof record of whatever you have you have done like you have examined in the opd or you are performing any procedure so i will be dealing with uh, how to maintain the record on case based scenarios and what is the importance of record keeping apart from whatever i have elaborated like evaluation of own results and all the most important part of record keeping it's helpful in medical litigation if you are working in a uh, corporate hospital or government hospital there are medical record section in those uh, hospitals so you not worry about those things because uh, they keep all the records and you can go and find out the record but if you are a solo practitioner you must have a copy of whatever you have done so for that record keeping is most important the legal system relies mainly on documentary evidence in uh, in situation of alleged medical negligence and poor record means poor defense and no records means no defense there are various ways to keep the record the manual method a large area it occupies large area and difficult in retrieval records if you go to this room and find out record of 10 years back you won't be able to find out or retrieve the record that's why electronic record uh, record system has come into existence and it is most preferred way to find out your record just a on a click button away data can be easily retrieved prescription is fully typed so you can um, you don't have to uh, see what you have written 10 years back because handwriting might change previous data of patients is easily available fundus photos oct perimeter images are easily available on one click now medical records what are the medical records which you are supposed to keep and what are what is its importance how documentation of medical history is important a fellow underwent cataract surgery which was uneventful but there was no improvement in the visual acuity patient approach consumer forum result in favor of doctor because in history note it was clearly mentioned decreased vision in the eye since childhood as patient had amblyopia so doctor escaped from the getting sued now clinical findings why clinical findings are important cataract surgery which went uneventful recurrent post op inflammation and iritis with all possible treatment i ultimately went into thysis patient approach consumer forum and result was in favor of surgeon because pre op documentation clearly mentioned that patient had a complicated cataract and all signs of healed uitis were there and cataract was operated under the steroid of, uh, steroid of cover and the eye was absolutely quiet before 3 months so this is how clinical findings saves your day investigation and documentation is also very important cataract surgery in diabetic eye approached consumer forum for non improvement of the vision result still in favor of doctor because pre op oct findings came had showed that patient had pre op macular edema which was treated by vitreoretinal surgeon and patient had received anti vegf also before cataract surgery so this classical case of documenting evidence of investigation before cataract surgery saves the day for the surgeon pre operative care and documentation cataract surgery which was uneventful patient developed post op endophthalmitis intravitreal antibiotics were given patient was referred to vitreoretinal surgeon vitrectomy was performed all care was taken by vitreoretinal surgeon proper referral was there case filed in consumer forum for compensation for non improvement of vision and all mental and physical trauma which patient had to undergo 
after cataract surgery. Surgeons still escaped because pre-op notes mentioned that fumigation and autoclaving was properly done. So whenever you perform fumigation, autoclaving, there are scripts which you can stick to your records. Betadine eye drops were put and mentioned the, on the case paper. Pre-op antibiotic drops were installed, which was also mentioned, and patient was referred to vitreoretin surgeon for further care. You are not supposed to know each and everything. So if you find that it's difficult to do at your uh, uh, site, you can always refer to your colleague. Operative note documentation, cataract surgery, patient had a compromised vision, patient still filed a case, result in favor of surgeon because operative notes documented that the patient had posterior polar cataract. And as you know, that uh, posterior capsular dehiscence may occur any time during the procedure. And notes also mentioned that patient had a vitrectomy on the table. So detailed OT notes, they are absolutely important. So once you finish off the OT and if you find that there are some problems during the procedure, you can always mention them on the no OT notes. OPD prescription is also very important. You have to write down full name of the patient, date, treatment preferable in capital, duration of the eye drops which were mentioned, signature of at the end of the document and review date. Date is very important because undated prescription can lead to doctor in a trouble if patient misuses the prescription later on. Case of giant papillary conjunctivitis, patient came to ophthalmologist, patient had prescribed some drops which were for particular days only, but patient used those drops for long period. Patient developed glaucoma later on, but the surgeon has mentioned that you have to instill these drops for 10 days, 15 days, and it's not for long term. You can explain to the patient these are drops for 5, 10 days only, but usually whatever you say, the patient forgets. And he keeps using those drops for redness and whatever. So that's why, that is how the ophthalmologist escaped from the case. OPD prescription. Now discharge summary, another very important document. You have to write down date of admission, date of discharge, date of surgery, surgical procedure, treatment advice, precautions to be taken post-operatively, and date of next follow-up. Whatever you tell to the patient post-operatively, your attendant, yourself, patient usually forgets all these things and keeps on doing whatever they want. Discharge summary should be signed by a consultant. Copy should be kept with surgeon. Discrepancies in discharge summary and hospital records can raise suspicion about tampering of the record. Should this should be avoided. Referral letter is another very important document, and it should include date, issue of the certificate, patient's condition, cause of referral, duplicate copy of the whatever you have given to the patient should be kept with you. Maintain the register of uh, medical certificates. Often on we get um, patients for the certificates like leave for so many days and for so many disease, so, uh, disease, whatever patient had. So these documents are very important. They can be misused by them later on also. Uh, so identification mark and patient signature is also important. A lot of cases of patient misusing medical certificate has been seen due to lack of date, time and issue, which is uh, issue of uh, certificates on backdated. MCI guidelines for record, they are not clearly mentioned, but for consumer forum, patient can approach as outdoor case within two years and indoor case within three years. I just heard uh, 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 some imminent um, personality lecture day before yesterday only he told that the OPD paper you should keep with you for three years and indoor for five years. And you, if at all, if at all um, in need, you should keep a copy of it in your record, maybe scanned copy or uh, uh, recorded copy with you for as many years as you want. If patient demands case paper should be given within 72 hours. In pediatric cases, until the patient attends major, he, you should keep the copy of the record. In medical legal cases, doctor should preserve until the case is resolved. 
So medical record is an important aspect of one's medical practice. It not only he helps you to improve your patient management, develop your treatment plan, improve a personality and pre pre uh, presentation in publishing studies also, but also helpful in legal problem whenever it arises. So I think uh, that is the most important thing which you should keep with you. And thanks for your patience listening. Thanks Dr. Viral for the opportunity. Thank you so much, uh, Raju Joshi sir, for finishing the talk exactly in time. <laughs> uh, so that was very insightful talk regarding documentation, recording and storing clinical data for all the ophthalmologists. So if any questions are there, if you so.